Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Katie Price is no stranger to cosmetic surgery, having gone under the knife 17 times for boob jobs alone. She's also had cheek filler, lip filler, and six facelifts, the latter of which she had done in Turkey for 10,000 pounds. However, the former glamour model, 46, now fears she'll die on the operating table after receiving a rather chilling warning. During a session with a clairvoyant, Katie was told that she would pass away peacefully in her sleep. The eerie prediction sent her into a spiral, as the mama five was warned by her sister, Sophie, that the clairvoyant could be alluding to being under anesthesia. In an interview with Greatest Hits Radio, Katie shared that the recent discussions prompted her to reflect on her body dysmorphia, also known as body dysmorphic disorder, BDD, which is a mental health condition where a person spends a lot of time worrying about their appearance. I know this is really weird, but I was having a conversation with my sister on our podcast the other day, Katie began. And I remember when I was in America and I went and saw a lady with a crystal ball, you know, like a medium or clairvoyant or whatever they're called. And I said to her, how do you think I'm going to die? I know not many people would ask that, but I did. She said, oh, you're going to die in your sleep peacefully. And then my sister said, and you're going for surgery, you'll probably die in your sleep. Dot. Katie added, that sort of triggered something in my head. And I was like, do you know what? Imagine if that is, because the amount of times I've been put to sleep and that's stuck in my mind. If I have surgery again, what if I do go in my sleep? Because you are asleep. And I think that's connected to something in my brain. Katie's comments come after she performed at Manchester Pride, where she unveiled the results of her latest facelift sans bandages for the first time. Despite the post-surgery bruising and bandages initially worrying fans that she might have had a botched procedure, Katie is happy with the outcome and has been confidently flaunting her new look. Katie, who has sparked engagement rumors to married at first sight star JJ Slater, 31, has always been open about her own surgery and denied being a hypocrite. Earlier this year, the reality star called for an age limit on fillers and urged people not to go abroad for cheaper procedures, despite having done so herself. I've been around the world and seen different surgeries, and the thing is, I know about filler, you might have filler, but eventually, it drops, it's still chemicals you're putting in your face, she said. But I just think, there should be an age limit on it, and, we should, educate girls, why do you need to have all this filler and everything pumped in your face? Just look at when you are my age, it's different when you're older than that, but you know, they're babies still, she told BBC Radio 4's Woman's Hour. Katie added, my advice is, don't just go abroad and stuff because it's cheaper, why don't you contact some of the people on there who've done the before and after, and message them and say, look, I'm thinking of having this done. What was it really like? The controversial star has also denied having surgery to look younger. Instead, she believes she has a, a relationship with surgery and her pension for going under the knife stems from not feeling good enough or not very pretty. Katie has endured a turbulent time in her personal life as of late. After being declared bankrupt for the second time earlier this year, she was arrested at Heathrow Airport for failing to attend a hearing related to her ongoing financial issues. Katie was then bailed and, in a court appearance the following morning, warned against jetting off abroad again to avoid taking accountability at a second hearing on her repayment plans. The model attended a second hearing last week, which was adjourned so she could attend a private interview. She has repeatedly denied running away from her legal matters, insisting that the reason for her recent trip to Istanbul was so she could film a documentary on corrective surgeries. The celebrity Big Brother housemate, who was first declared bankrupt in 2019, owes over £760,000. In February this year, she was ordered to pay 40% of her monthly income from the adult entertainment website OnlyFans to the trust.